What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. And today we have got something that I could not be more excited for. This is going to be the first trailer for Shipwrecked Comedies Headless, their new web series. Now I know Shipwreck best from the Edgar Allan Poe invite only murder mystery dinner uh, web series that I reacted to, I don't know, a year or two ago. And it was honestly one of the greatest things I have ever seen. Like, and not just in terms of like web series or like web-based content. I am putting movies in there. I am putting TV shows in there. It was so good. I'll leave a link to my like part one reaction down in the comments, but if you guys have not seen it, I can't recommend it more. But Headless though, I actually had a chance to help out on the set, like with this production. However, that didn't end up happening. So let me let me tell you guys a little bit of a story here before we get into this. So it's, I think, December or so. The kickstarting campaign for Headless had just wrapped up. And they send out this email to all the backers saying, hey, if you're going to be in Los Angeles and, you know, these days or whatever, that we can definitely use your help on set. You can be a production assistant or you can be like an extra. Let us know. So I got that email and I'm like, oh my God, I need to help out because this is going to be incredible. So I text them. I'm like, I don't live in California, but I have friends that live there. I've got, you know, a lot of free time. I love to travel, especially in the winter because Minnesota is the fucking worst in the winter. So we start emailing back and forth. I'm like, I could be there for like a week. What week do you need me? So we go back and forth like this for a little bit. And then I get an email saying like, hey, this is the shooting schedule, you know, and everybody that we have coming to help out on set. So I looked through it all, didn't see my name. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm sure they'll email me, you know, later and clicked out of the email, whatever. And then like three, four months go by and I never heard anything back. I follow them on Instagram. So I know they have shot and are done shooting. And I was just like, huh, interesting. And I go back to that last email and right below where I had read was more. There was more to this email. And my toxic trait is that I skim. I skim when I read. It doesn't matter if it's a book, magazine article, a goddamn email, or even a text. A text is like 150 characters and I still skim it. And in the part where I skimmed it, uh, essentially it put the ball back into my court, metaphorically speaking, for the email chain about finding out a week. So essentially I left shipwrecked comedy on red. And once I realized that, like I have just felt so, so bad about that. Oh my God. So if anybody from Shipwrecked is watching this, which actually is a possibility. They commented on one of my Poe videos, which was so fucking cool. But if any of you guys are watching this, just know I did not mean to do that. And I am so, so sorry. But I mean, really, it might just be a blessing in disguise because I'm sure I would have gotten things like ruined for me or spoiled for me. And that would just be an awful, awful shame especially considering that Poe was just like the Mona Lisa of web series. I seriously can't get over how good it is. But either way, even though I didn't get to help out, I still could not be more excited for this and to get my cool signed uh, headless poster. I don't know where it's going to go behind me, but it will go somewhere. But yeah, I am super pumped for this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let's go ahead and get into it. God, I love that logo. <laughs> what? You must be Ichabod Crane. Oh my God, a mayor knows my name. I'm raising your rent. I can't afford that. Then get a roommate. You look like you could use some company. Do you know about the Headless Horseman? Who's the Headless Horseman? That's a cool effect. <laughs> You're going to help me pay my rent? If I help you find your head. Sure. Why not? 
I can't keep walking around with a headless roommate. Maybe Matilda could help us? Rom, she can't just wave a magic wand and attach a head to him. Yeah, I'll just wave a magic wand and attach a head to him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. So really, it seems like quite the innocuous uh, plot, like bare bones. Or not like bare bones, but you know, in general. World. So you came to Sleepy Hollow? Yeah. You're a bad liar, Ichabod Crane. Like Ichabod rooming with the Headless Horseman, like that's fun, but oh. Oh, there's so much more going on behind the scenes. Uh, I was wondering if you would... <laughs> These Halloween decorations are getting really expensive. <laughs> huh. Okay, that obviously, like, first and foremost, just like Poe, the production value is 100% off the charts. Uh, it's probably a good thing that I never emailed them back. I probably just would have ruined that whole production. <laughs> but yeah, that was fantastic. Um, the Headless Horseman, though, like, looking at it more, like, it's clearly, like, that. that's a practical effect. Like, there's somebody, probably some shorter actor, that has shoulder pads on, and, and that's the head. But even still, like, if you looked at the Headless Horseman, it, like, where his head was not there, that was, like, at the top of, you know, Ichabod's head. So, like, if they use these different actors as the heads, which I'm pretty sure is the plan, at least what they were thinking at one point, you still have to make them be, like, six foot six, or we might just, you know, that might just be a suspension of disbelief thing that we don't ever talk about as to why sometimes the horseman is very short. But yeah, it'll be really cool to see how they tackle that. But yeah, I mean, this looks so funny and like there will be a really fun, good mystery going on, at least one uh, along with the main plot. Oh, it's going to be fun. And they didn't give away too much in the trailer. That is awesome. But knowing how good Shipwrecked is at doing what they do, that would be a little bit surprising. I think the one kind of question or theory that I have though so far is that bag of like skulls and bones that we saw in this. Now, cards on the table, I have never read the short story of Sleepy Hollow before. Uh, Tales of Sleepy Hollow, Tales of Ichabod Crane. I can't remember the name of the actual short story, but yeah, never read that never seen the Johnny Depp movie Sleepy Hollow. I'm pretty sure The Simpsons did an episode about the Headless Horseman, and that's essentially the extent of my knowledge of this legend short story, however you want to put it. But I'm pretty sure that the Headless Horseman doesn't like collect the skulls. Like, it wouldn't be a... I'm just thinking back to like Dexter, you know, serial killers will always take like a trophy from their victims or oftentimes they will do that. The Headless Horseman though, he is killing people as like just a means to live essentially, right? To be able to like look around at stuff. So I just don't understand why he would keep heads when they're no longer useful to him. I mean, there were skulls, there were no eyes, there was absolutely nothing. So. I'm assuming that that bag of skulls, bag of bones, is from some other murderer or serial killer that happens to exist in the town of Sleepy Hollow at the same time as the Headless Horseman. Uh, maybe Ichabod Crane, I don't know. Or it could just be a total mislead. Like there could be, I don't know, a, uh, some kind of like town play happening in Headless and that's just a prop for it but they thought it would make a really cool transition shot and it could mean absolutely nothing. But that's my first little theory about this. And if it's anything like Poe, there is going to be so many of these fucking theories by me because, man, Shipwrecked is just so good at writing like a mystery. And I don't know if Headless is going to be that necessarily. Um, 
God, because, yeah, Poe and the Gilded Lily, they were both, I mean, one was a noir mystery, one was just dynamite. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much of a mystery element is going to be in Headless, but I'm really hoping for, I mean, honestly, I'm hoping for a lot because they are so, so good at writing mysteries, but... Man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I should let you know, though, that in terms of reacting to it, what I think I'm going to do is, like, each week that a new episode comes out, I will probably react to that on Patreon, but I'll hold off on uploading those to YouTube until all 10 episodes are out, just because I don't really want to take away, like, a lot of views from Shipwrecked for this, which... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not like, oh, if I put this on here, they'll get half of the views because I'm such a cool, big YouTuber. It's obviously not the case. I just, you know, I want to give them a chance to upload the entire thing before I start coming in with reactions. So if you do want to watch me, you know, react to them every single week, my link to my Patreon is down in the comments uh, or in the description of this video. We also do a lot of really cool other things. Uh, we're doing Schmigadoon right now, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and a different musical reaction every single month. So really, it's definitely worth it. Uh, otherwise, I will be reacting to it once all parts are available on YouTube, which I'm pretty sure is also the way I did that for Wayward Guide for the Untrained Eye. But regardless oh my god i'm so pumped so thank you guys so so much for watching and definitely let me know what you thought of this trailer and just headless in general down in the comments and i will see you all in another reaction very soon